Hey there, my name is Georgia and today I'll be reacting to World's Biggest Cheapskate. I do want to just say as a little disclaimer before I start this video, these are American families who are very much well off. They choose this lifestyle. I'm not trying to offend families that are not so well off. This video is called Mum Makes Family Wash Clothes in Their Swimming Pool. I like to go spin on a little bike to get my workout on. It, that seems like a very strange looking gym. There's like plastic everywhere. I see Jenny probably two times a week. When Jenny first came, I thought she was in the market to purchase a piece of exercise equipment. <laughs> so she's literally just working out in a bike shop on a display bike. It makes me happy. Bye. Tell her bye. Bye. <laughs> she's just working out in the store. Bye. <laughs> bye. I almost have a little bit of respect for this woman. <laughs> like, she just has no shame. Like, I get embarrassed just walking back into a store if I've already been there the same day. Going to a gym, paying for a membership. I mean, that's like $75 a month. It doesn't cost me a dime to work out in that sporting goods store. But she's driven to the store. It still costs money to drive. Like, you could literally find a cheap bike that would cost you, like, under $40 on like Facebook Marketplace. Or I don't know, go for a run. I absolutely hate spending money on things that I can't see the next day if it's gone. That makes no sense. Like I can't see the food I ate yesterday and I bought that. Like what? what? I don't like spending money on things I can't see the next day. Like if I buy a burger, I want to see that burger just fall into the toilet bowl in its full form. But you can't do that, so that's why we only eat corn in this family. You just can't digest it. So you know, once I'm done with my business, I just get in there and I just pick out the kernels. <laughs> and then I just put them in the microwave and pop them for our Saturday movie nights. <laughs> that was so great. It can cost 60, 70 dollars to fill up a tank. And then you go home and park your car in the garage and you may not go nowhere. So you just spent 60 dollars to sit. <laughs> Is anyone going to tell this woman that you don't use petrol when your car's off? <laughs> hey, can I get $3.36 worth of gas? Oh wow, she's an annoying customer. <laughs> this is my toilet. <laughs> oh, please. Please don't tell me she uses her own shit as fertilizer or something. Best way to save money is water displacement. Oh. Oh my god, thank you. It's just a brick. Like, I, I thought she was going to pull out a turtle or something. <laughs> is my kid's pet turtle. His name's Franklin. You know, and I just keep him in the back of the toilet because I figure, like, I'm not going to pay a dime for a fish tank. Putting a brick in the back of it's going to make the water level go up a little bit and it's not going to use as much water. <laughs> okay. okay. This woman clearly hasn't done a big shit in her life. Small woman, small shits. There's two! There's two bricks! Would that even flush a number one? I don't know. When we bought the house in 2006, we paid cash for it and we saved money by doing so. And the pool came with the house. So she's got a pool, so she's, she's well off. Try to figure out every way possible to save money on running and keeping up this pool. <laughs> what is that? Okay, so there's massive barrels and just like cartons of sand in this pool. I guess she's got the same idea here as she did with the toilet. It's like she's trying to put like more things in so the water level rises. It's just such a hazard, like they gotta swim around it. Like, like what if one day one of her kids just forgets that there's like a little death zone in the pool and just goes head first into a carton? I like to jump off those bales. I mean, I love them. <laughs> that kid just dropped the F-bomb. Out of nowhere. I'm gonna like go in the middle of my fish. The other one just swore. Even Aussie kids at that age would get a slap around the ear for that. Like where do these kids go to school? <laughs> they, I mean they probably don't. Yeah, we also like um, saving money on education in this family. I drive my kids to school every day, but uh, I didn't actually get them enrolled. Kid, they're not inside the classroom. They're not actually attending the school, so I don't have to pay a dime. So I just sit them outside the classroom window and I give them a pair of binoculars and a walkie-talkie and they're fine. <laughs> This is the only pool in town which has barrels and bark containers of sand in it. Yeah. It definitely is. <laughs> People usually that. don't do that. <laughs> no, no, they don't. I love how he was trying to explain it like it was a flex. Like he was definitely that kid at school that just tried to overcompensate for everything. <laughs> just trying to like brag about things that probably shouldn't be bragging about. Yeah, all right, Billy. You might have a bearded dragon, but does your pool have barrels of sand and shit in it, no. Dad had a small business and he had to find ways to get through a lot of hard times. And oh, please, she did not just put her washing in the swimming pool. He showed me how to think outside the box. That, that's that's not outside the box. That's like the box never existed. It influenced me as a child growing <laughs> oh up. Oh my God, she's got her kids into it. Come on kids, this is fun. 
Bit of child labor never hurt nobody. <laughs> the chemicals that are in the pool are similar to the ones that are found in laundry detergents. Maybe. <laughs> but there's a reason why you can swim in a swimming pool and why you can't swim around in the washing machine. That's not really gonna clean your clothes. You need like hardcore chemicals like bleach or something to clean your clothes. Why washing clothes in the pool is weird. It makes me feel like I'm in 1912. <laughs> These kids are a cracker. Makes me feel like I'm in 1812. You know what? He's right. Like, I would be really embarrassed as a kid if, like, I had a friend over. And we were just swimming in the pool, having a nice time. And then my mum just like, Oh, hi, kids. Having a fun time in the pool. <laughs> yeah, just... Just whirl those around for me. And then that kid goes to school and tells everyone that these kids' mum washes their clothes in the pool. Like, that's not a good look. I honestly feel a little bit sorry for these kids. My pool scammer broke, so I just took a pair of pantyhose. Stretched it over the top. Boom. There you go. Got a pool skimmer. I ain't buying a new one. Like, this woman needs to work for five minute crafts. Like, there's some things that she's come up with here that are better than anything I've seen on that channel. Like, that is that is genius. You know, I just took a pair of pantyhose and I just yassified that simmer. <laughs> but is that the same skimmer that she's used to, like, get leaves and, like, dead frogs out of the pool? And she's just, like, using it to shovel up her laundry? I mean, just putting it out there. Running this pool filter cost us an extra $200. I've done some research. I want to figure out a way to power this filter without paying any money. <laughs> Please tell me she's not trying to make a little like bike machine. <laughs> If I build a bike generator. Yep, she's trying to make a bike generator. <laughs> if I build a bike generator to run my pool filter, it will cost me nothing on my power bill. Can you imagine being this woman's neighbor? Just like poking your head over the fence and just seeing this woman on a bike like, oh, hi, Karen. <laughs> Good day for it. Billy, don't run near the pool. It's dangerous. You could slip and fall into one of the barrels. <laughs> she's literally got a belt, like she's got a belt that you put around your waist, not even like a conveyor belt. What, what, what's going on here? If I could get you to just hold <laughs> this. <laughs> the way that she's just absolutely taken advantage of this guy in the bike shop. Like, this guy is too nice to tell this woman to just f*** off. Like, I just love the power dynamic. Like, she's completely just bossing him around and he's just taking it on the chin. He just comes up like, is there anything I can help you with? And she's like, just, just, can you, can you just hold that there? Jenny's pedal power turns the belts, which rotates a car alternator. As the alternator spins, it creates an electrical current. I don't know, I can just see that going horribly wrong. Like that buckle. Like, I don't know, I can just see it catching on something, you know, and just shit hits the fan. Although the fan probably won't be on, so it'll be fine. I wish I could, but I can't give it away. I can't. I can't do it. It hurt. Aww. I actually felt a little bit sorry for her in the end there. Also, mind you, this woman probably got paid a lot of money to be on this show and to like show all of that. So she's probably doing absolutely fine now. Little announcement right here. I'm reopening my PO box. Shocker. Um, I never thought this day would come, uh, but a lot of people have been requesting it. So I just thought, may as well. If you would like to send me anything, you can send it to this address right here. I also know that some of you have some small businesses uh, that you'd like to promote. So if you do have a small business and you want to send me anything for like a free little shout out in a video, um, send away. Or if you saw a little clip of this video over on my TikTok and you're new to my YouTube channel. All of my longer form content is right here uh, because this is where I started. This is my baby. YouTube's my baby. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next Saturday. See you later, potato.